Hello everyone, Merry Morning here, back with another witchy book review for the Witchy Book channel. And this today's book is The Power of the Witch by Lori Cabot. The Earth, the Moon, and the Magical Path to Enlightenment. So this book, uh, let's see, uh, th this one is, I kind of have a very nostalgic feeling about this book. <laughs> a lot of people cite, you know, Scott Cunningham's books as being the first ones they, they read and really, you know, bonded with, and that's what set them on their path kind of thing. Well, Lori Cabot was that for me. So, um, I read this book probably back in the early 90s, and it was the first book I read that really went into the how-tos and the, you know, the fundamental principles and um, rituals and stuff like that, that uh, uh, it really got me, you know, looking into more things and reading more and set me on my path that... Um, I have to give Lori Cabot, you know, credit for um, her her work that she's done, and uh, the book is goes into a lot of different things. So there's lots of information in it. Um, there's historical facts. So it starts with, you know, the early ancient history of paganism, into the burning times, into uh, modern paganism but you know again uh, this book was written in 1989 so even anything that is an older book you kind of have to take the history part with uh, a grain of salt because history changes constantly people come up with new things new theories new ideas so the historical part may not be completely accurate um, so just so you know that uh, but it's a really good read and um, I like the way that she writes it's very down-to-earth and, and um, easy to read and uh, she goes into a lot of entertaining stories and one of them is when they were filming the witches of Eastwick in Salem. Lori Cabot is from Salem, Massachusetts. She's probably one of the most famous witches in the United States. Like she was back in the 80s uh, and 90s. She was on a lot of those old talk shows. Um, so probably most everybody knows who she is. She's a well-known, you know, figure uh, in Salem. And she used to have a store there in Salem as well, which I don't think she has anymore. I'm not I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know. Um, so they were filming The Witches of Eastwick and her and her fellow witches decided they didn't like this because it perpetuated this negative stereotype of witches and the devil. So she decided we need to you know stop them from filming this and uh, you know was writing you know the studio and causing them all sorts of problems because she didn't want them filming that movie which i found very funny and entertaining like like i can just imagine her like rallying all these witches to be like no we don't want that movie <laughs> which later on turns out to be you know a pretty good movie but it does perpetuate a, a stereotype in it. Um, so that was entertaining. Uh, but there's a lot of good information in the book as well. Like uh, she goes into uh, covens versus solitary work, um, circle casting, wheel of the year, uh, how to set up an altar, um, the basic hermetic principles, and uh, how to do uh, basic potions, uh, a little bit about herbs. Um, so there's lots in this book and, and there, she's written other books as well that have to do with the potions and the herbs, which are really good as well. But this one is just sort of the basic overview of a little bit of everything. And um, 
one of the things in this book, this is why I kind of, you know, always think of this book as far as like one of my favorites and, and nostalgic look on it because in it she has what she calls the crystal countdown which is how to enter an alpha state uh, during a meditation and it has to do with um, using the chakras and colors and I don't know there's something about Lori Cabot's system that just sort of you know I clicked with and I have always, ever since I read this book, used Lori Cabot's system uh, with her crystal countdown in a meditation. If I'm doing a meditation, I use Lori Cabot's method. And even if I am in, like, say, a group meditation with a bunch of people and they're doing a meditation, I will on my own, you know, in my own mind, do Lori Cabot's crystal countdown first to get myself into a state. And once you've done it so many times, it's just automatic. Like, you, you know, you can go right into alpha state very quickly. And, um, and so she's right. Like this method that she teaches is completely true. I've used it a million times. So there you go. There's testimonial for Lori Cabot and her crystal countdown. Um, the other thing in this book that I loved and I've used several times since I first read it, is a protective potion that she does in here. And um, I mix this up and I use it on uh, for protection by drawing pentacles on uh, the doors, you know, the windows. Um, like I'll use it for basic home protection. So yeah, I've, I've used that for a long time. So, yeah, I, uh, since, you know, it's one of my personal favorite books, I'm going to give it a five out of five. I don't know if other people would rate it so high. Um, it's all personal opinion, but it is uh, one of my favorite books. Um, so I'll let you decide for yourself. Have a read. Uh, and if you haven't read any of Lori Cabot's books, I would recommend them. It's it's funny that you don't hear too much about Lori Cabot. Like a lot of people don't talk about her, which I find really odd. Maybe maybe they're put off by how you know public she was back in in the eighties and that. Like I, I don't know. I don't know. I hear more online about Scott Cunningham and Raymond Buckland and that sort of thing. Um, I hear more about them than I do about Lori Cabot. So uh, she definitely has a more Celtic uh, slant to her her teachings, which I I enjoy. Um, that is what I'm interested in anyway. So that doesn't bother me. Um, so anyway, so yeah, try it out for yourself. See what you think, and. Uh, if you're interested in looking for me on YouTube, my channel is Mary Morning, and I am on Instagram and Facebook under Autumn Moon Enchantment or Mary Morning. And uh, yeah, I talk a little bit more about fashion on Instagram. So if you're interested in Gothic fashion, you might want to follow that. <laughs> so. Uh, Thank you for listening, and I'll see you later. Bye now.